All right, y'all. So in this video, I really just want to talk about becoming an influencer and how important becoming an influencer actually is and how it can help your brand blow up or just anything you want to do in generally. Yeah. Cut me, bring that heat, yo. She said she don't want me. She don't want me. I get it. Yeah. Move on to the next. Mm -hmm. For sure. Sure. No, I wanted, I wanted you bad, bad. She just do me green. Bad, bad. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy in the live stream. We back with another video. Bro, the pictures came in. You feel me? I'm going to show y'all a couple. I got, Bro, it's over 200 plus pictures that came in. You feel me? So, it's going to be a long night of me just scrolling through which ones I really want to use. I know I'm going to use about probably like 12 to 15 out of like 250 pictures. You feel me? So, um all week i'm gonna just be deciding which ones i really want to use because my manufacturer did say my bulk will be done by next week it's getting shipped to me and everything by next week so y'all know i'm gonna be dropping in basically two weeks for for i just needed to clarify when i knew i was gonna get my bulk because i hate promoting and i don't know when my um my bulk's gonna be finished you feel me because i don't want to drop and have people wait in two three weeks like now that i know it's gonna be done next week for sure I could drop in two weeks. You feel me? Easy. I'm going to start. So, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Absolute Value Brand. I'm about to start just posting mad reels because I got to lock in and start getting the engagement up. Start going crazy on the Instagram. So, y'all always go follow me over there. But, yeah, I'm going to show y'all some of these pictures real quick. All right, y'all. So, it's literally just a bunch. So, I might use a couple of these. This scenery was cool. You feel me? It's so much. And then I got, like, real in-depth. Hey, like, shout out to Jason, man. That boy be going crazy. But yeah, we got some real in-depth photos so you can really see the quality of the sweats, the shirt, bro. And these have been getting a lot of traction on TikTok as well. A lot of people have been rocking with them. Um, it's the black version. Y'all know what they look like. I'm really just skimming through them right now so y'all can see. I'm definitely about to use one of these. This picture is hard. This picture is overly tough. Um, yeah, we got hella of these in the black ones too. Like, I'm definitely gonna use a couple of these so and then I'm going to show y'all when they get to the back. So these are the ones I'm really excited about. These pictures came out amazing. It got um one in the front, one in the back. And then it really focuses on the shirt and the sweats like crazy. Like the quality on this is crazy. Like y'all can't even really see it because it's through the camera. But you feel me? And then we got some that's focusing on the one in the back. But he's still in the front. Like it's a bunch of these, bro. It's 200 plus. I'm just spamming through them. But yeah, these is definitely, definitely going to use this one. This one is crazy. You feel me? This one is crazy. Like, it's a bunch of them that's crazy. I'm going to just start liking a bunch of them. And then, you feel me? They switch roles. And then, my dog came in the front. He went in the back. You feel me? These both my homies, though. But, you feel me? And, and I lined it up perfect. Like, Tim's, Tim's, Dreads, Dreads. It's all about proportions. Y'all think proportions only involve clothes. No, bruh. Light skin, dark skin, Dreads, Dreads. Like, it, you got to really pay attention, bruh. Everything is proportion. And I and I gotta get a girl in this by um by when my bulk come, I'ma throw her whoever wanna model for me, I'ma throw them boys a small and then I'ma have her model for me because you can't leave the girls out, bro. You cannot leave the girls out. Your your target audience matters, but you gotta get boys and girls, no cap. But yeah, we definitely using this picture. This junk is tough. This picture is crazy right here. This picture is tough. Showing off the Tory Burke um accessories. This is crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Yup, 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 tough. But yeah, it's, that's the last picture. But mind you, I started in the middle. I didn't even show y'all the other 200, but yeah, these are the pictures right there. But yeah, y'all, I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in a minute and really discuss on what's really going on because I just been so locked in on the brand and going crazy. I, I kind of been lacking on the YouTube a little bit, but I'm back. I'm finna be going crazy. I ain't worried about it. Y'all know when to get closer to drop, I get more consistent because it's more stuff to record and film. So it becomes like way more easy to just record and stuff like that. Yeah, y'all. So yeah, I definitely got to get a girl in these, but these pictures came out crazy. Let me know how y'all feel about the pictures down below in the comments. Like, did I snap? Did I do good? You feel me? I'm just going crazy though. But um, if this drop happens to go good, I feel like I ain't drop. I bro, I literally ain't dropping two months, bro. I'm low key tweaking. Like, I gotta, you feel me? I gotta lock in really and truly. Last time I dropped was I think February fourth. So yeah, I never want to go too long without dropping. Like, it already feel like a decade to me, bro. It already feel like a decade. But I know I can't rush the process. Just take my time. Everything go line up. Don't rush it. You feel me? I know I ain't dropping a minute, but that don't mean I need to be rushing it. I just gotta take my time and just relax. You feel me? Vibe out. A quick intermission real quick, y'all. Look what I just caught, 
bro these junks go crazy the slipper club i don't know if y'all know but if y'all do bro these junks is comfy as hell i needed some house slippers and i just went and grabbed these the packaging was crazy like look at the box it came in bro it got a jelly side and it got a peanut butter side i got the pb and j's they got a bunch of different like colorways and themes going on in they site they, this is go crazy like bro simple packaging like this not simple but like just showing off the packaging like this bro this is crazy like all this stuff matters especially when you got a brand and you just notice all the stuff about other brands and what they do but this is fire i can't lie this is fire i just had to show y'all that real quick all right y'all so in this video i really just want to talk about becoming an influencer and how important becoming an influencer actually is and how it can help your brand blow up or just anything you want to do in generally like really just take off for real for real because if you have an audience who just rocks with you for who you are, bro, you can take that audience and sell whatever, do whatever. It's basically just the main way to really have motion for real, for real. You can literally do anything. Like if we look at some of the people like Kai Sinat, Kai Sinat or like the whole AMP just in general, they can literally drop merch individually and it'll go crazy. They can sell anything they want and it'll go crazy because they're an influencer. You get what I'm saying? They influence thousands of people. So that's kind of the lane I'm going down right now. And I'm testing waters right now. I have posted my second reel ever on Instagram and it actually did pretty good. So I just know I gotta be consistent and I'm basically gonna be telling y'all how I plan on doing that. So let me show y'all this real quick. So boom, right? This is my page right here. Go follow me if you haven't. But yeah, this is my page. Um, I Like before I really wasn't using Instagram like that. I was one of those kids that made an Instagram after they graduated because I didn't, I like, I was never really a social media type of person, but I realized the power of social media and I was like, bro, I gotta take advantage of it. I knew I wanted to do YouTube and like uh, make clothes. So I was like, bro, I need to take advantage of Instagram, bro, it's a social media platform. So this was the reel I posted yesterday, right? It says daily reminder, nobody cares, work harder, right? So boom, the reason I, I have to start posting reels is because look at this, it hasn't even been a day yet, y'all. But it's at um, 1,500 views. And I know that's not really a lot. But to me, I've never really posted a reel. I had one before that just barely did 1,000. But this one did 1,500. And I posted this like 1030 last night. You get what I'm saying? So this is this actually means a lot more than y'all probably think. Or like, you feel me? Y'all probably looking at, at that like, it's not really nothing. But I do want to talk about influencer marketing and how important it is. So... Let's get back into it. So yeah, y'all, people like Hollywood Shaq and um, who else is like big influencers? Cash K. Um, y'all know the influencers out there that's going crazy right now. They really um built their audience off of fashion. You can build your audience off a lot of things. Mainly, if you're gonna sell clothes, you can build it off of fashion if you that's what you're into. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying to post in reels like often. I been was supposed to do this last year, bro. Like I was just. I just had to get my wardrobe right. I ain't gonna lie. I've been thrifting a lot. So I've been thrifting like once uh, once a week, like every week I just go thrifting every Friday and I just go crazy y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be spending 80, $100 at the thrift. Now, if y'all actually thrift, y'all know how much money that is at a thrift store. That is a large amount of money to be spending at a thrift store. That means you're getting a lot of stuff. So my last thrift uh thrift i did i spent like 65 dollars i'm not gonna lie to you i spent like 60 dollars you feel me and that's a lot of i got a lot of stuff so really i just been stacking my wardrobe because i know if i'm gonna be consistent on posting reels and my fits i gotta have a decent wardrobe i already got a bunch of shoes you feel me i got 20 plus shoes that like i've been had and you feel me i got i got a lot of good shoes i ain't gonna lie, i got some tough shoes so really and truly i just needed the wardrobe to match and then at the same time, I was trying to find my style because I'm like, I enjoy dressing, but I don't get dressed up enough. So I literally enjoy putting on different outfits and being like, yeah, this look good. Like, you feel me? I literally enjoy that. Like it's one of my best parts of my day, like putting on a decent outfit. I love doing that. So that's what we gonna start doing more. People try to make it seem like it's a crazy code to crack with this fashion stuff or reels. Bro, all you gotta do is put on a good outfit, make an Instagram reel, with a with a catchy um with an eye uh, attention grabber or whatever you feel me a crazy caption some type of attention grabber and then post it 
and just be consistent. I say post like two, three reels a week and you go be straight. You feel me? People try to overcomplicate it, but really and truly, that's how your favorite influencer started out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. That's the journey I'm on right now. But yeah, let me show y'all this real quick though. We've been working on the website. I ain't gonna say too much, but boom, we've been working on the website. We got some decent pictures. Um, Hold on, let me let this load. Boom, we got some pictures going up. I'm, this is one of them I chose because it shows off the shoes. It's a clear image of the, the product. And then my boy had on like a watch. And then in this picture, he got on um like the jewelry or the, you feel me? He got on the Tory, the Tory Burke jewelry right there. And then it shows off the other side. And these are high quality pictures. A hey, shout out Jason. Like that's my cameraman. He go crazy every single time. So that's just what I'm focused on right now. High quality. You feel me? And um, I'm pretty much basically done with the website. But yeah, I'm basically done with the whole website. I've been cooking. I ain't gonna lie. Website looks good. Friday, we are posting the pictures. Yo, Friday is the the 12th. Okay, so it's gonna be the 12th. What, what, what month are we in? April? Yo, Friday, April 12th, y'all. I am posting the pictures. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta rush my IG. Okay, I gotta rush my IG. We are officially dropping on the 28th. That is the Sunday. That's the last Sunday in the month. We are dropping on the Sunday, y'all. We are going crazy. Sunday, 3 p.m. Y'all go see the pictures. I'm posting the pictures on Friday. We doing the little two and a, two and a half week promo. So within the two weeks, this time I'm gonna plan out the drop. Y'all gotta pay attention. I post the pictures on Friday. I post a reel every three days, every two to three days, I post a reel. On the last week, when I'm about to drop on the 28th, on that Thursday, I post another picture telling people two days left until the drop. And then on drop day, I post another picture. You know what I'm saying? So you want to space it out. You don't want to spam pictures, but you kind of want to spam the reels because reels is like modern day TikTok right now. When not modern day, like, like back in the day, TikTok, when you post anything, it'll go viral. I swear IG Reels is like that. If you're trying to grow right now, lock in with the Reels, bro. No cap, lock in with the Reels. It is the fastest way to grow right now. TikTok been on some bull crap. Still use it. TikTok be on bull crap, but still use it. But IG Reels really is the method right now to get eyes on your brand. So that's what I'm going to be doing two, every two to three days. IG Reels. And then I'm going to space out the um like the feed posts. I'm going to post like three. I'm going to post one, obviously, on Friday. One like towards the end and then another one on drop day. And then after I'm gonna be posting influencers that actually marketed in the brand while the drop is live. So that's kind of like my strategy on what I'm gonna be doing. The pictures are crazy. So y'all y'all already seen the, my last video. I had the photo shoot. Y'all go watch that. It went crazy. I was outside. My man, uh, my cameraman took crazy pictures. So you wanna have high quality pictures when you're posting on the gram, bro. All right, have good models. Have, if you're doing streetwear, make sure you align with the streetwear. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they got on some type of jewelry. Make sure they have on um, up-to-date shoes. Like Tim's is obviously popping like crazy right now. So both of them had on Tim's. Um, it was a great set. Everything just looked good and good lighting. Everything aligned on what you would want to convince a customer to buy from you. So yeah, y'all boys lock in. It's already the second quarter, like I said in my last video. It's already the second quarter. Y'all gotta lock in. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Boy No Life, send me. And I am gone.